Good morning. We're just waiting for, uh, as I'm seeing the participants number climbing up at the bottom of our screens. Um, it is my pleasure to be chairing this conference today. This is a really timely and important conference on sustainability, climate change and mental health. And I know that we'll all be really enriched uh, and I hope really spurred on by the the contributions that we're going to be hearing today. My name is Delith Jewell and I'm a member of the CENEV. Now we've got a full programme. Uh, we want to make sure that this event is as engaging as possible. So while I'll be cheering and kind of leading us through the day and our fantastic uh, speakers that are going to be talking about so many different elements and facets of these really important issues, I'll be inviting you all to comment in the chat box and if you've got a question uh, that is inspired i suppose by one of the talks that we have then please use the q and a function even if we're not able to answer those questions during the course of the day i uh, i've been assured that all of the questions will be answered and acknowledged in the follow-up conference information that will be sent to all delegates we're also recording uh, the conference today and so you'll get a recording of uh, what's happened today after having joined. Now, I want to thank the Royal College of Psychiatrists Wales and the British Journal of Psychiatry Bulletin for organizing this really important event. I know it's a very um, important and central area of their work. Now, the aim of our conference today is to highlight some of the emerging and important issues relating to these interrelated, interlinked uh, phenomena in a way of sustainability, of climate change and mental health. Now, we want delegates to leave the conference today armed with feeling that they are, they are motivated to be able to, to look, yes, that they, they've learned more, but they're able to actually put what they have learned into action. And so we are going to be joined by academics, by practitioners, but also by people working in the community, by young people who are affected by some of these issues and to learn more about what needs to change. Now, the first time that I become aware in any meaningful way of particularly the, the area of climate change and the impact on mental health uh, was in 2019, I had just become a member of the CENEV and I was talking to a group of young people in Abergavenny in the region that I represent. And we were talking about uh, the media in Wales and the news and storytelling. And one of the young, youngest children who was there, who was maybe around seven years old, said that every time the news was on the television and, and climate change came up, they felt scared and they didn't want to watch the news anymore because they were worried that something about climate change would come onto the television and that they'd get really frightened again. And lots of the other children were nodding their heads. Now, since the recent election in May in Wales, I've been Plaid Cymru's spokesperson on climate change, and I've been working more with groups of young people uh, to find out more about this phenomena of climate anxiety or eco-anxiety that is really affecting increasing numbers of young people, but of, of course, people from all age groups. And I think that and one of the things that I'm sure is going to come out of the talks today uh, and thinking about this and sustainability as, as well in its widest sense, that with climate change, the, the implications of climate change can be so, they can feel overwhelming. They are so massive in its true sense, uh, in, in terms of scale, that actually it can feel incredibly isolating for individuals, that the anxiety, that the, the fear that can be brought about uh, and because of COVID, of course, in terms of our working patterns, that, that's something that's going to be coming up as well. We have been more isolated in so many ways over the past year that actually it's really important for us to work collectively, yes, politically, but also in terms of what practitioners are doing now to understand more about how we can frame talks about climate change, the way that it is discussed particularly in the media, so that we are empowering people to know what we can do to make a difference, what we can do to find the locus of the individual, but also the collective in, in the midst of these massive uh, considerations. So I, that, that's something that, that was what brought me to this area, I suppose. And what's so exciting about the conference today is that we're going to be hearing from individuals 
who have expertise in so many different elements of these areas, whether it's in sustainability, in mental health specifically, or whether it is to do with, or whether they are actually practitioners in terms of the environment uh, and tackling climate change. Now, as I've said, if you could please use the chat function to comment and the Q&A box to ask any questions. Uh, when we have space between talks, then we will try and answer some of those, but anything that is uh, brought up will be uh, answered in the conference information pack that's sent to you afterwards. Now, our first panel today, uh, we are going to be joined by Gemma Johns and Professor Alka Ahuja from Tech Cymru. Now, they have been responsible for the national rollout out of uh, video consultation across health and social care over, well, during the course of the pandemic. This is a very topical issue, of course, and we're really, really pleased to be hearing from them today. Again, I would just encourage you to please, if you've got any comments, to put them in the chat box. If you've got any questions or reflections on what you're hearing, then please put them in the Q&A uh, box 